Now we're going to do example five. And example five is going to look at mercury levels in fish. We're going to get these seven list of seven numbers and we simply calculate the mean and standard deviation. But I just want to show you what the scientific uh, study is so that you actually believe me and you can see a real life application of, of this. Okay, so here's the study, mercury levels in pregnant women, children, and seafood that people are eating in Mexico City, uh, 2014. And uh, there's part of it where it shows SD. What do you think SD stands for? SD, standard deviation. And look at here, mean. What's that? That's like the, the, the arithmetic average that we calculate, the mean, right? And what does N represent? <coughs> N represents the number of samples. So, so these this is seafood, right? And um, here's seven, 17 um, sunfish that were sampled and tested for mercury, which is let which is calculated in micrograms per gram of wet weight. So, wet just the fish as it is, not dried. All right. And it, it says the EPA's uh, safe consumption level is 0 0.3 micrograms per gram net weight. Okay, and so you can see some of these are far above that. Like the for the school shark here, the mean is is over 1.5, so that's five times the safe level, uh, and and so on. Right. So the sunfish looks pretty safe, school shark not so much, and so on. Right. <clears throat> So um, the one we're looking at is just the this this one here, the uh, Spanish mackerel. And if you're interested, if you you know you go through to this study, I have the link on on the paper. And there's things like a scatter plot here, which plots the mercury level in the hair of people versus the mercury level in the blood. And as you can imagine, the more mercury you have in your blood, well, that'll that's usually corresponds to more mercury in your hair and so on, right? Okay. Okay, so now we're going to calculate by hand ourselves, see if we can come up with the same numbers. So, <clears throat> first thing I want you to do is get the mean of these numbers. Uh, here's the formula. So, please press pause on the video and try to do it yourself, and then check the video and check your answer. Okay, I hope you've tried it yourself. I'm going to do it now. So, the mean is we just add up all the numbers. And there are seven numbers. So add them all up and divide by seven. Okay, so in the calculator, 0 0.042 plus 0 0.313 plus 0 0.232 plus 0 0.31 plus 0 0.052 plus 0 0.043 plus 65 press enter so you should get that and divide it by 7 and that's correct so you should get 1.057 divided by 7 <coughs> which gives you 1 point or sorry yeah yeah 0 0.151, sorry, which is the same thing that they have in the study as you can see from the website. 0 0.151, sorry, 0 0.151, right? So now let's calculate the standard deviation and I'd really like you to press pause and do it yourself. We already have the formula for the standard deviation, that's this guy here, right? So um, please press pause and try it yourself and then check the video. I'm going to do it now um, and I like to go down the page just to give some space for calculations. So standard deviation equals, and again it's like little o with a little line to the right, that's all it is. It's the Greek letter sigma equals and um, we take the first number 0 0.042 and we subtract the mean 0. 151 and then we square it and then we take the next number 
0 0.313, subtract the mean, and square it, then take the next number, 0 0.232, subtract the mean, square it, then take the next number, subtract the mean, square it, and keep going like that, right? So and then divide the whole thing by how many numbers we have? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, right? Then we calculate each one on the calculator. So we two four two minus zero point one five one is uh, negative zero point one oh nine. And then the next one. Um, 0 0.313 minus 0 0.151 oh, that has to be squared of course this is 0 0.162 and then we got to square that so we got to square all of these guys whatever they are So, um, yeah, maybe I should have just, oh well, I'll just do it step by step, 0 0.31 minus 0 0.151, press enter. If I was smart, I would have squared each answer in turn like that, but that's okay. 0 0.159, I'll just go through it step by step just to make it minus 0 0.151 and then enter and if I was that would be negative 0 0.099 and then next one 0 0.043 minus 0 0.151 negative 0 0.108 and 0 0.065 minus 0 0.151 negative 0 0.086 and then we square each one in turn right so the negative 0 0.109 um, uh, insert yeah don't forget that's a negative so when it's squared it means Make must be a positive, right? Zero point zero one one eight eight and zero point one six two squared zero point two zero two six two four just gonna give a five digits zero point zero eight one squared zero point zero zero six five six just gonna give her five digits that's enough zero point zero one five nine squared 0 0.00025 Nope, oh, I did that wrong. Whoops. That should have been 0.159 squared. Zero two five 
two, eight. And we got negative square, that's going to be a positive, so I'm just going to go 0 0.099 squared to get 0 0.0098. The next one's a negative squared, so that's again going to make a positive, so I'm going to plug in 0 0.108 and square that. And that's 0 0.01166. And the next one again is a negative squared, so that's going to make a positive again. So 0 0.086 squared is a 0 0.0073. Uh, round up to 5, about 7.4. Okay. And of course, just add them all up 0 0.01188 plus 0 0.0063. Plus 0 0.00656 plus 0 0.02528 plus 0 0.0098 plus 0 0.01166 plus 0 0.0074 and so we're getting square root of 0 0.09 Eight eight two over seven, which is the square root of. You just take that number and divide it by seven. Zero point zero one four one one seven one four three. About anyway, take the square root of the answer. So I'm going to go second square root. Plug in the answer. I could plug that whole thing in, but that ends up being zero point one one. 8, 8, 1, etc., or to three decimal places, 0 0.119, which is what they had in the study. So that is the standard deviation. All right. And most important of all is what does it mean? What it means is for these Spanish mackerel fish, um, the mean level of mercury. And again, going back to our, our, our cool normal distribution that we will delve into even more quite soon. If you look at the population of those fish in that city, it's probably something like this, where the mean mercury level is 0 0.151. By the way, that's micrograms per gram. So for each gram of wet fish, it's 0 0.151 micrograms. Okay, and um, the standard deviation is 0 0.119. So if I go 0 0.151 add 0 0.119, I get 0 0.27. And then if I add uh, near 0 0.119 I get 0 0.39 about okay and then if I subtract a couple I get there but I mean I, I guess what it, it's it's showing well in fact let me go to standard devi deviations so how about this um, 0 0.151 well minus 0 0.11 9 is about there. So here's about 0 0.032. And of course, if we subtract another one, we're into negatives. And you can't have negative amount of mercury. But it, it, in general, we're looking at this type of distribution for this type of fish, where some of the fish is definitely going to be um, in the danger level, which, uh, as we saw, the danger level, according to the EPA, was... Um, 0 0.3 micrograms per gram okay so we can see that our 95 percent of fish are is about in this range um, and so you know we've got a significant amount above the safe level for this type of fish right